mother of the news. Read all about it. Track down all the clues. With interesting people, there's a mystery to be solved. An adventure is unfolding, so why not get involved? begin to report by transforming words into a sentence. There, that makes sense. Yes, but it doesn't say anything about getting us out of here. I know, but I can't see any other way to make it into a sentence. Let's change the prefixes. We'll put trans before port and re before forming. That's it. You'll begin to transport. That's what we want to do by reforming words into a sentence. Well, we've done that. What happens now? The poet's pocket. That's where Dr. Couplet is. She'll help us. She pushes the keys. Are you sure that she'll help us find Chris? I think so. She helped us last time, and she doesn't like Deneen. Dr. Couplet! Who's there who shouts in such a roar? Oh, I remember you from before. Let me guess. My head is in. I've got it now. Your name is Lynn. And this is my friend Sam. Hello, Dr. Couplet. A friend of Lynn's is welcome here. But where is Chris? I hope quite near. No, he isn't. Dunedin's kidnapped him. We need your help to rescue him from the planet of Maze. So you travel from a distance to bravely offer your assistance a difficult task. But there are ways to rescue someone from the maze. A map is what you really need. Without it, you will not succeed. A map? Oh, that's just great. Oh, how can we ever thank you? Oh, oh. enough, enough, or I shall start to blush. And do not be in such a rush. The map won't get here right away. So calm yourselves. Enjoy your stay. What do you think it'll be before we get the map? I don't know. We'll just have to wait. What's she doing? Oh, these are great books that I have read. Their words make pictures in my head. Pictures in your head? What else is reading all about? The more you see and figure out, the better will the story be. So come and read along with me. When storms stir the deep cold waters and gales set the sea smoking with blown spray, it's easy to believe that the great whirlpool maker is lurking down there with other strange beings. This story could be sad or merry. 
a joyful tale or slightly scary. The words themselves must set the tone. What feelings has this first line shown? Well, it sounds sort of eerie. All that bit about strange lurking beings. It must be a mystery story. A mysterious tale is what we've got. The setting must bear out the plot. So with first phrase, begin to build the pictures waiting to be filled. Well, if we made a picture from those words, we should start with the sea. And it should be blue. Like that. No, that's the wrong color. How can it be the wrong color? The sea is blue, isn't it? Yeah, but not that kind of blue. It says deep, cold waters. But that sea looks warm enough to swim in. It should be much darker. And it's not still, but rough, because of the storm. You're right, it looks much scarier already. You started well, so let's move on. The second phrase we'll build upon. That phrase doesn't tell us anything new. I mean, a gale's just like, like a storm, isn't it? But what about the spray? Where does it come from? Well, the, the wind blows it about, I guess. Your thinking isn't very clear. To suppose and guess won't do, my dear. The spray must come from something more. Perhaps a rough and rugged shore. If the storm was making the waves crash against the shore, that would cause a lot of spray. And the mist would make it look as if the sea were smoking. Sounds absolutely right, you see. Accurate reading is the key. I think our picture's nearly done. Now we'll have a little fun. From these words, our picture grew. Let's add some sound and run it through. When storms stir the deep, cold water and gales set the sea smoking with blown spray, it's easy to believe that the great whirlpool maker is lurking down there with other strange beings. Oh, it's much scarier when you add the pictures. I bet something awful is going to happen. Yes, but it sure makes you want to read the book. are written on the page, but that is just a single stage. It's up to you to add the rest, to imagine what the words suggest. This lesson I can help along by singing you a little song. pictures whenever I read. Me too. Can we try another one? Here is a sentence for us to try and build a picture in our mind's eye. But there are no clues to tell you what kind of picture it should be. It could be a lot of different pictures. Well, let's change the game a little bit and build whatever you see fit. All right, if I can have any picture I want, it should be about the Wild West. Because that's what the sentence reminds me of. So I want a herd of wild horses running across an open plain. The horses are all colors. Browns, blacks, pintos, and whites. And their manes are flying in the wind. Because there are so many horses, a lot of dust is rising from their hooves up into the sky. Which is very clear and blue. That's what I see. Oh, 
picture Lynn can see of horses running wild and free. Ooh, at this game you do excel. Let's see if Sam can do as well. Well, it reminds me of going to the races with my family. Just near the finish, when the horses are galloping as fast as they can. And the jockeys are bent forward, over their necks, urging them to run even faster. Every jockey's wearing a different colored jacket, and the crowds are cheering, and it's really exciting. Sam's image is vivid, too. The words give her a different view. I'd like to know what it's really supposed to be. Yes, which picture did the author write about? We'll find the answer in the text, so let's read the sentence that comes next. Red-coated riders? Who are they? Well, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police wear red coats. That's it! They're all moving together because it's the musical ride. Call it a maze. Without this handy little map, the maze becomes a lifelong trap, so heed my warning and take care, for many dangers await you there. Well, we've got to try to rescue Chris. We'll be careful. The map shows us how to get out of the maze. But how do we get into it? People wishing to go there are few, so it's a simple thing to do. I press this button on my row and off to the planet you will go. But be careful traveling to that land and hold on to each other's hand. Okay, we're ready. Goodbye, Dr. Couplet. Thanks for everything. Good luck. Goodbye. Keep a watchful eye. <laughs> I should have used my greater age to keep them from the maze's cage, but they were so intent to go and fight against an evil foe. And even with that map so clear, I've seen the last of them, I fear. gone into the maze. We're too late. 